Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel from Woodworking with Dash. And today I'm going to give you a review of my Slowding Table Saw. It's a Hair and Forbes PS1800, which went, which went it's got an 1800 sliding table. The saw itself is 800 by 800. Cast, cast iron table. In this clip you will see how easy the saw straightened an edge. And then over to the rip fence. The fence itself is just a standard fence, nothing fancy, but it does the job well, it does the job quite well. The fence that came with the saw. It, it has a fine adjustment on it too. Now this is the best part of the sliding table saw, the docking. It's very easy to dock panels. You set your stopper up, turn it around, pull it back, lift the stopper up, cut, cut the first edge. Turn over. Okay, one, one of the best things that I really like about the saw, it's got no movement from side to side on the end of the sliding table. So it's cuts dead parallel. I also have this, this minor gauge fence on the, on the end that can slide to any angle that you like. The fence can slide back out of the way. It, it's very well made, I like it. Okay, I'm here I'm locking the saw in the place so I can get my sled. Same, same as a, a, a normal cabinet saw where you use sleds, I can use a sled on a sorry table saw. And why I use a sled is that because in box making, a lot of time I'm cutting very small pieces. So it's just easier and safer to use a sled. It cuts them quite nice, cuts them exactly the same as a table saw. There I am, cutting very small pieces and they will just stay there. Perfect. Stopper on the uh, sliding table saw can be moved to any angle that you want. It's, here, it's marked here on the uh, on the outrigger. It also has a adjustable stopper so you can cut up to about two or three meters. The, the, uh, the gauge to go back and forward, fairly accurate with the um, measurements, it just locks in. It's got a fine adjustment on the, on the top which I like, and it just, just works. Okay, that's the dust extraction port on the bottom of the case of the saw. It's not good, it just sits at the bottom. It should go up to the arbor, but it doesn't. And that's the, uh, the tilting arbor. That's the fence again. It's just the fence, but it works. It works good. It works well. I like it. It's not heavy either. Some fences are very heavy. Okay, and I've, I've also got a, a, my router table and my, and my bobbin sander in the in the uh, outfit table, which go around the saw, and you can see the uh, dust extracting coming through through the outfit table. That's a cover that I put to make it a zero clearance. So the dust doesn't fly up in your face. Okay, overall, it's a great saw. I love it. I've always used sliding table saws all my career. I've used them for about 30, 40 years. This this isn't as good as, as the commercial ones that I used to use, but it's bloody good anyway. It's for a hobbyist, it's the best. This is more of a um, more of a hobby and a startup saw for a cabinet making shop. You won't want to be using it all day, every day. But as a hobbyist, it works, it works well. 
and it's got because you can put a sled on, sled on it too it's got the same same capacity as a normal table saw plus it's got the sliding table on the side the cost I just I paid about 2600 when I bought it about four years ago now they're about four thousand dollars but everything's going up so it's comparable to one of, one of the better cabinet saw that you can buy but overall I like it I wouldn't use anything else thank you thank you for watching and um, please subscribe ring the bell and I'll see you on the next video which will be about box making thanks for now see ya